You know Kevin Kwan is the author of Crazy Rich Asians. The trilogy held spots one, two, and three, by the way, on the New York Times bestseller list. Just let that sink in for a minute. Now add in the Hollywood blockbuster based on the book because that became the highest grossing romantic comedy in a decade. So uh, where do you go from there? To Capri, of course. That is the stunning setting for Kwan's brand new novel, Sex and Vanity. Kevin Kwan joins us from LA bright and early this morning. Uh, thanks for waking up early for us today. <laughs> Very early. Thank you. Good morning. It's such a privilege to talk to you this morning. The novel is still set in the world of privilege, speaking of, but it's not all about the money and the fancy brand names. We are following along with Lucy Churchill. She's half white, half Chinese, and there really is a sense of identity in this book. Talk to me about the search for identity and belonging as it relates to Lucy. Well, Lucy has an interesting background. You know, she's partly Chinese from her mother's side, but on her dad's side, she comes from a very waspy old establishment, old guard family. So she's pulled, you know, in two different directions, and she really has to find her voice within this very clamorous, complex family. You know, we've all been grounded, obviously, because of this pandemic. But flipping through your Instagram, uh, it's you're instantly transporting <laughs> us to places that Lucy was eating at, at some beautiful scenes in the scenics of Capri. Tell me a little bit about the research involved in this, in the, particularly the Italian part. I mean, it was really challenging. I, I had to go to Capri many times to try different restaurants and sit in different beaches. No, I mean, it's an island I've been loving and going to for the last um, 20 years of my life. So it's a, very much a second home to me. And I wanted to share this world, this be these beautiful beaches, the beautiful restaurants with my readers and just capture that paradise, but also use it as a setting to tell what I think is a really funny and fun story. Yeah, and we're just looking at some of those photographs right now. Oh, just to be there, right? Is it hard to find descriptions when you're writing of places of such beauty or does that just roll out for you? You know, there's only so many ways you can say the word exquisite. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's, it's you know, it lends itself to poetry. This island mm -hmm. is so beautiful and there's so many different facets to it that I really wanted to showcase it in all the different locations that the, the action moves to. The characters attend a fabulous wedding at a villa. They go to amazing restaurants at beach clubs. And then the action moves on to the Hamptons in New York, which is also another fun summer resort. So fun. Okay, so do we need to be revisiting a room with a view in order to fully appreciate this novel? I'd love your take on this because <laughs> is this a bit of an homage to that? It's very much an homage. I mean, Room of View was one of my favorite movies and books of all time. And so I really wanted to use that as a departure point to tell my story. But, you know, as, as readers will see, my story diverges very quickly mm -hmm. into a whole different world. But it's it'll be fun, I think, for people to, to either read the book or rent the movie um, and then read mine um, because you'll see all the little tricks I did and, and the fun I had reinventing this story for the modern day. Love that. And I was reading about how the Crazy Rich Asians trilogy affected the way you write. You said that it gave you license to let yourself play a little bit more, to not try to try too hard, which I love because it seemed to alleviate the idea of that massive pressure. Can you explain that a bit more, that permission to play that you allowed for yourself? Yeah, I think I just, you know, for this book especially, I wanted to do something that would bring people joy and make people laugh. And, you know, Crazy Rich Agents was such an intense layered experience with 80 different characters, settings all around the world. I wanted a much simpler story. I wanted a fun summer romp um, that people could, you know, read on the beach or pretend they're on the beach when they're reading it. <laughs> Do you feel that sense of pressure right now um, for this book to be a success based on your past successes? You know, I, I really have to let that go when I write and just, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I can. I'm really sharing a story from the heart and people are either going to love it or, or they don't. And there's not much I can do, you know, except <laughs> write the story I can write. It is a beautiful, it's a beautiful book, a fun read. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Kevin. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And the book is called Sex and Vanity. So check it out. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.